What's up everybody, do I back at it again with another video. Today we're going to be talking more about mini dev updates and other things that have just come out. Since the last time that I've actually talked about these, they have dropped quite a bit of stuff and we're going to go over them right now. So the first thing that we're going to be looking at is something that we thought that might hint to us actually getting an update in October, but you know, judging by the time right now, it doesn't seem like it might happen. I mean, there's still like a day or two left, so maybe it could happen in October, but somehow I doubt it. But this is essentially just making it so that people have pumpkins on their heads. Anybody with the head has a pumpkin on their head. So let's just take a quick look at this. So that was the first video. Let's take a look at the second one here. That's actually kind of a fun little feature where you can take a pumpkin off of the table or someone's head and put it on yourself. I'm sure a lot of people are going to mess around with that. Just like how they're messing around with that hat that you can find. But moving on here, even the icon at the bottom left that you normally see has a bit of a change too. And Ali says, how could we forget the evil laugh? I like how it has a little animation right here too. For those of you unaware... That laugh was actually featured during the multiplayer phase of the game at one point. But that seems to be it for what Ali had to show. It seemed like this update was going to be dropped in October, but that just might not be the case. But I guess we shall see. Moving on. Mary G says cry about it. I'm not exactly sure what that means. I'm assuming we're just getting a new helmet for the HRT. I heard that they're actually really doing the whole model last I checked. Which, I mean, I'm not a fan of them replacing old stuff. I would like to see, you know, the new stuff and the old stuff. That's just my personal preference. I like to have more variety but anyways moving on here ali comes in with another set of mini dev updates it says here ridge lines gerard rat like flanking maneuvers crawling through vents and traversing through wall gaps be careful the first video here is called flank using wall gap number two let's take a look they're from the agency i like how it even has like the The sound of his feet just like clumping along the floor right there. It's the sound of the agency. Is that how he's supposed to sound too, I wonder? Kind of All right, moving on to the next one. Flanking using wall gaps number four. Let's take a look, see? Am I using a controller to shoot at him? Ooh, he's going underneath this all event. Lies. All of it. That is cool. I thought that was really cool. He's doing like a complete flank over here. That's gonna be wild to try to face this guy, especially in first person when, they, when he just comes up right behind you. And we got to the next one here. Flanking using vents. I think this is just the same video, but in first person. The rats. King of the rats. Points for anyone that gets that. Never see it come here. He runs back and goes through the vents. Oh my God, that's a long vent. It's a big vent, too. Well, then again, the dude kind of looks skinny, so I could see him fitting through one of these. They're from the agency. They're from the agency. Motherfuckers. If they want war, I'll give them a war. This guy sounds like he's sad. Ah. 
that's pretty cool i like how he's using the vents although it would be kind of crazy if a bunch of other people were using vents too moving on to the next one we got blank using wall gaps number seven Ooh, that's kind of cool He's just like taking pod shots at you and then just runs away. Which I guess makes sense because he's gonna be somebody that's fighting by himself for the most part. It's gonna be wild trying to go up against this guy. Unless he dies in like two hits. I feel like I'd shoot a lot faster than the guy that's right here. So it's gonna be interesting. Moving on to the next one, we got another flank using wall gaps. Take a look, see. Are you using a controller? Let's see. Here's footsteps. You should have. What did he say? You should have something? Not sure what he said there. I'm not sure if this is his actual dialogue or if it's some just random generic one. But they did say Gerard, so maybe. This isn't the actual character model for Gerard, just to let people know. It's just a placeholder. Alright, more flanking using vents. Not sure what happened there. I guess he shot at the wall. Like sheep to the slaughter. This guy's gonna be nuts to go up against, I can already tell. Alright, moving on to the next one, we got flank using vents number eight. Dang, there's just a lot of the same clips here. Or the same type of clips, anyway. And he's going to a bunch of random ones, too. You're gonna die here. And finally, the last one, using vents number nine. Let's take a look. Going through vents. Never. Oh, you said you never should have come here. Well, according to him, or at least the news report that I read the other day, he already killed like five officers. So obviously they're going to be coming after him. Well, that seems to be it. Let's move on to the next thing here. Up next, we got a picture here of what looks like to be the newest model of the HRT here. I just noticed it has the GPNBGs. At least that's what it looks like from this angle. Gotta say though, it's kind of looking slick. Not gonna lie. We've got Zach's recording efforts building Visra library. Yeah, because at some point, Red you're not going to implement a bit of a gore system. So let's take a listen. Oh. Ah. Uh. Jesus. Damn. Freaking wild. Yeah, um, Zach actually showed off what he was using for that. See if I can find it. I actually got a screenshot of this where Zach posted a picture of what he was using to make all that stuff. We got what looks like some watermelon, some cabbage, stuff that kind of looks like pineapple, a lot of greens here, and some chicken with a Rode microphone, actually. I got a Rode. It's not the same one, though. It looks like he has some more upgraded one. But uh, yeah, let's just move on here. To add to the gory mess here, they actually gave us a bit of a preview of what happens to the face when you hit it multiple times and man it looks really bashed in void interactive has always said that they wanted to add gore to the game but they weren't saying that it was going to be overzealous who knows how far they're really going to go with it though because they'll say one thing and then they'll do something else so this is the first picture obviously and then there's a second one here of a different angle and it's really just looking at the viscera here on the ground pretty awesome that's pretty much it when it comes to mini dev updates at least in the discord for this next one we head to their twitter and it says are you ready to see your favorite maps in a whole new light we're here to share the results of the improvements we've been making what do you think basically with this one it's like we have this ray tracing technology how do we use it i know add more windows and that's pretty much what they did or at least that's what it feels like all these lights that kind of look just like lights actually i think might not be just windows like the sun is just blaring through them or wait no the lights are actually coming from these windows over here it just looks like it's coming from there because of the lines but i have them all mixed up 
But anyways, so this is the penthouse map. Huh, this is actually a change that I don't like. I actually like how clear it looks, if I'm being honest. Since these aren't maps that really change, they're always going to be this bright. Or at least I think that they are. I would like to see a night and day map, but I don't know if that's actually going to happen. I would say neat, but I don't know. I don't like this. I like. The, I prefer the old one. Not gonna lie. But that's pretty much it for this. What are your guys' thoughts? So with this next one, I actually wanted to talk about how they added an actual playable update to this game, but it's not really what you think, like another map or another gun or something. It's mods. Mod.io. I wanted to make a bigger video about it. Basically ranting about how it's just not that great and all that stuff, but I'm kind of glad that I did it because on the first couple of days, it wasn't great. There was a lot of stutters and issues and stuff. Is there like no way to make this so that I can just look at maps mod installation one or more mods may require you to restart uh for it to work i suppose wait should i wait till this thing's downloaded seems like the download speed is pretty decent yeah it looks like it's working pretty uh good so far the one from insurgency Santum was fucking terrible but i've heard that people say that mod.io actually works in other games they've told me that insurgency sandstorm's implementation of it was pretty shitty and i'm starting to see it now i think at least Oh, I think my game froze. Damn it, I just had to open my goddamn mouth. So it took me... Okay, so you should be able to join, but it basically made me uninstall every mod just to play that one map. So far, mod.io is not as good as just installing stuff from the Nexus. Oh, you got the quad dots, nice. But about three days later, they come out with a patch that fixed a lot of it. I still don't think it's better than Steam Workshop, but it's at least functional. Why I think Steam Workshop is better is because you obviously can have it so that it can download in the background and not have to worry about restarting the game like this so that it requires mods to actually work. But it works. The process kind of goes like this. You download the maps, you restart the game, and then you hop into the single player so that it loads in. And if you want to play with another person that has the same map, you should be able to get into it right away because it's on your system at that point. And you're basically good to go. Still not as good as Steam Workshop, but not as bad as Insurgency Sandstorm's version of mod. Io. Another problem with it though is that it seems to save only on your C drive, which is an issue. There's no way for me to set where I actually download these mods. It just kind of does it wherever, I guess. Another thing with this is that there's no filter, so I can't filter out guns or maps or voice lines or skins, specific parts that I would like to see. It's all just kind of melded together. I've also noticed that when you have mod.io mods installed onto the system and you're trying to use Nexus mods, it seems like the mod.io mods override the Nexus mods. So if you want to use the Nexus mods, you, I think you have to uninstall this stuff. I could be wrong though. I should probably test that. I've also heard that the mods don't completely uninstall. They're still downloaded on your computer somewhere. At least that's what a lot of people have told me. I'm not entirely sure if that's true. I wouldn't even know where to find them. So I'm just going to test that theory real quick. If I can't actually use Nexus mods or not. Because I tried using the camera mod for Ready or Not with the mod.io mods and it didn't work but now that i took them all off i want to see if it works really quick oh it seems like the mods are actually working now when i uninstalled the mod.io mods damn hmm well, that sucks so it's one or the other basically until they fix it i, I assume so that was like my little review for mod.io i guess Overall, not as good as Steam Workshop, but not as terrible as Insurgency Sandstorm. So that pretty much does it for anything ready or not related. What are your guys' thoughts? Let me know what you think down below because I'm gonna get the hell up out of here. If you enjoy the fact that I cover games like ready or not, then be sure to like the video, share the video, and comment down below. If you're someone that would like to support the channel, check out my Patreon or hop on that join button or send a thank you. If you're someone that's new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and ding that bell so that you can get more content on ready or not or any other game that I decide to cover. And with that all being said, I want to thank everybody for coming out to watch and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.